Hi folks, welcome back to Stony Point Forge. Since I built more hand railings and gates than I do knives, I decided to buy a, a punch press attachment to this punch press. Yeah, Piranha wanted uh, $1,500 for this stripper, so I decided to build my own and come out really good. I got plenty of clearance, I can remove the punches without removing the um, stripper. The die block I got from Cleveland Punch and Die. I paid uh, $400 for that, uh, Piranha wanted $600. The gland nut right there. Let's see here. The coupling nut right here. Piranha wanted $362. Cleveland wanted uh, $50.80. The punch stem is right here where the nut goes to. That was $75. Piranha wanted $298.74. So, big savings on going through Cleveland. I saved so much that I was able to get a complete set of punches for less than what it was going to cost me to get, get the parts that I needed here. I had a local laser company cut me out a wrench. That way I can... I mean, it's to work everything I wanted, fit, fit the uh, bolts and the land nut. I can switch this over from a punch press back to a forging press in about five minutes. I've uh, incorporated uh, tool storage underneath my uh, forging press tools. I made a drawer to catch the all the slugs for the, the punch press. What I do for one, I'm getting this one also set up. I'm not buying a punch press or a punch dies for it, but I got it all set up for a forging press. And while I was at it, I made a stripper for this one also, for the next owner, because this one will be up for sale. I only need one of them. Thank you.